welcome back to sharp pencil design studio in this video we will understand the new changes in the uced exam pattern from 2024 our preparation batches for uced have commenced for this year here are the course details in a world driven by innovation and creativity the need for adept designers has never been greater and for those aspiring to join elite ranks of design institutions like iit the uced exam has long been the gateway to their dreams but change is the only constant they say and the uced exam pattern has not remained immune to this truth the uced exam pattern has undergone a significant transformation in 2023 With the ever evolving landscape of design education in India it is imperative to adapt to the changing needs of both the industry and the aspirants Before we get into the nitty gritty details let's quickly recap what UCED is all about UCED stands for Undergraduate Common Entrance Exam of Design Admissions to the Bachelors of Design programs at IIT Bombay IIT Delhi IIT Guwahati, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Roorkee and IIT DM Jabalpur are done through UCED. The BDS program covers various domains of design such as industrial design, communication design, animation design, interaction design and mobility and vehicle design. Many institutes also recognize the UCED scorecard for admissions to their BDS program. Now Let's have a look at the eligibility criteria. Students from all streams can apply for the UCED exam, but there is a catch. Students from science stream with physics, chemistry and mathematics (PCM) as subjects are eligible to apply for all six participating institutes. Students from science stream with physics, chemistry, maths or biology as subjects are eligible to apply for IIT DM Jabalpur students from any other stream science without mathematics or physics or chemistry commerce arts and humanities are eligible to apply for IIT Bombay IIT Delhi and IIT Hyderabad students who are currently in 12th or equivalent can attempt the UCED exam Students who have passed 12th one year prior to the UCED exam can also apply for the examination. A candidate can attempt the UCED exam for maximum 2 times and that too in consecutive years. Now, let's talk about the recent changes in the UCED exam pattern. The exam pattern underwent a significant overhaul, aiming to better assess the candidate's aptitude for design and creativity. So what's new? Wait wait wait. Let's address the elephant in the room. Why is IIT changing the pattern? Isn't the paper tough enough already? Look at the given graph. What do you see? The number of applicants in UCED are increasing tremendously. That's the reason why the exam is becoming more challenging. The UCED exam is divided into two parts, part A and part B. Part A consists of total 200 marks and maximum time of 2 hours is allotted. This part will be administered through a computer based test. This part will be consisting of 3 sections. Section 1 is called NAT, numerical answer type. This consists of 14 questions, 4 marks each and there is no negative marking in this particular section. For these questions the answer is a number that needs to be entered using a virtual keyboard on the computer screen no choices will be shown for these questions section 2 msq multiple select question in this section there are 15 questions each msq may have one or more correct choices out of the given four the following is the marking scheme Full marks that is plus 4 is given if all correct options are chosen and none of the incorrect options are chosen. Partial marks are given which is plus 3 if all four options are correct but only three options are chosen and none of the incorrect option is chosen. 
partial marks of plus 2 are given if three or more options are correct but only two options are chosen, both of which are correct and none of the chosen options are incorrect. Partial one mark is given if two or more options are correct but only one is chosen and it is a correct option and none of the incorrect options are chosen. Zero marks are given if none of the option is chosen, that is the question remains unanswered. Negative marks are given only when you choose a wrong answer. The third section is MCQ, multiple choice question. This section has 28 questions, 3 marks each for correct answer and 0.71 negative marks for incorrect answers. Each MCQ will have 4 choices out of which only one is the correct answer. Part A will have the questions from the following topics. First is visualization. This is the ability to imagine or picture things in your mind. It's like creating a mental image of something without actually seeing it with your eyes. Spatial reasoning. Spatial reasoning is about understanding and manipulating shapes, objects and spaces in your mind. It involves thinking about how things fit together and how they move in relation to each other. For example, if you're trying to solve a puzzle or navigate through a maze, you're using spatial reasoning to figure out the best way forward. Practical knowledge. Practical knowledge refers to the information and skills that you gain through direct experience or hands-on experience. It's about knowing how to do things in real-life situations. For example, if you learn how to ride a bike by actually getting on a bike, pedaling and balancing, that's practical knowledge. It's the kind of knowledge you acquire through trial and error, observation and direct engagement with the world around you. Scientific knowledge. Scientific knowledge is based on a symmetric and organized approach to understanding the world. It involves using methods like observation, experimentation, and analysis to uncover truths about how things work. For instance, if scientists want to understand why the sky is blue, they might conduct experiment to study the properties of light and how it interacts with the Earth's atmosphere. Scientific knowledge is about discovering and explaining natural phenomena through evidence and logic. Observation and Design Sensitivity Design sensitivity is closely related to observation, but it specifically focuses on how you perceive and interpret design elements in the things around you. It's about being attuned to the aesthetics, functionality, and the purpose behind objects, spaces, and experiences. Design sensitive individuals can recognize patterns, harmonies, and discrepancies in design and they understand how these elements contribute to the overall experience. For example, when you walk into a well-designed room, you might notice how the furniture arrangement creates a sense of openness and flow, how the colors and the lighting evoke a certain mood or atmosphere. Environment and Society General awareness of environmental, social and cultural connections with design. Now, how is the environment and society connected to a design entrance exam? Let's understand this with an example. Indian street food carts often utilize locally sourced and seasonal ingredients, reducing the carbon footprint associated with transportation. For instance, vendors may use fresh vegetables and spices sourced from nearby markets or farms. Additionally, Many street food carts employ eco-friendly practices such as using biodegradable plates or banana leaves instead of disposable plastic containers, minimizing waste and environmental impact. Now the social connection. Street food carts play a significant role in Indian social life by providing affordable and accessible food options for people from all walks of life. They serve as informal gathering spots where individuals from diverse backgrounds come together to enjoy delicious snacks and engage in conversations. Street food vendors often build strong relationships with their regular customers, 
fostering a sense of community and belonging in bustling urban environments. Next is analytical reasoning. Analytical reasoning involves understanding the puzzle's rules, constraints and patterns. For instance, in a Sudoku puzzle, analytical reasoning entails analyzing the given numbers and identifying logical deductions to fill in the remaining empty cells. It requires breaking down the pattern into manageable parts and systematically applying deductive reasoning to eliminate possibilities and find the correct solution. Logical reasoning Logical reasoning in puzzle solving involves making logical deductions and applying reasoning principles to arrive at conclusions. For example, in a logic puzzle, logical reasoning entails using clues and constraints to deduct the relationships between different elements and solve the puzzle step by step. It requires drawing logical connections, considering all possible scenarios, and eliminating inconsistencies to reach a logical solution. Language Proficiency in reading and comprehending standard English. And finally, the most important topic, creativity. Grasp of verbal and non-verbal analogies, metaphors, signs and symbols. For example, in Bollywood dance choreography, creativity involves using verbal and non-verbal analogies to convey emotions, stories and themes through movement. Choreographers may draw analogies between dance steps and everyday actions or experiences, such as expressing love through gestures reminiscent of flower blooming or waves crashing on the ocean shore. Creativity in Bollywood dance also relies on the use of metaphors, signs and symbols to communicate deeper meanings. For instance, dancers may use hand gestures, facial expressions and body language to symbolize concepts like joy, sorrow, victory or struggle. They may incorporate symbolic props like a diya, a lamp, to represent enlightenment or a dupatta, a scarf to symbolize grace and elegance. Till the year 2022, UCED had a Part A of 250 marks but from 2023, Part A is going to consist of 200 marks only. Previously, the Part B consisted of only one drawing-based question, but from 2023, for the Part B, one hour is being allotted and candidates have to solve two drawing-based questions of 50 marks each. In the Part B, questions are based on the following topics. Drawing, the ability to draw products, people or scenes in proportion with good line quality, composition, proportion, perspective and shading. Design aptitude, capability to practically and appropriately respond to problems, situations with ingenuity and empathy. For example, designing a school bag for children in rural areas. Capability to respond practically where designers recognize the challenges faced by children in rural areas, such as long distance to school, lack of proper school bags. They respond practically by creating a durable and ergonomic school bag that can withstand rough terrain and heavy loads. For instance, they might design a lightweight yet sturdy bag with padded straps for comfortable carrying and compartments for books, stationery and water bottle. Important things the UCED aspirant should know about the rank calculation system. Marks obtained in Part A will be used to shortlist candidates. Part B paper of those candidates who do not get shortlisted shall not be evaluated. For more details regarding UCED cutoff, we will soon make an elaborate video explaining the cutoff calculation. So do give us a thumbs up and press that subscribe button to get notified. These changes aim to provide a more comprehensive evaluation of the candidate's aptitude for design, ensuring that those with diverse skill sets and knowledge in design-related areas have a fair chance. So if you're aiming to prepare for the UCED examination, 
we at Sharp Pencil Design Studio are providing up to 100% scholarship to prepare for your dream design college. Just follow two easy steps. Head to the description of this video, contact us and take a free career counseling session with our expert designers. And that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more updates on the exams, tips and tricks. See you next time.